Hello and welcome to part one of my brand new Bannerlord adventure now that the game is fully released and we're on version 1.0. I wanted to start a new campaign. My current Sturgear series is still going to be running in parallel alongside this. We'll probably have two streams a week from now on of Bannerlord. One of them will be the Sturgear campaign and one of them will be this new series that of course we're streaming and recording at the same time. So hi YouTube, sit back, relax and enjoy my new Kuzate campaign. So yeah, we're going to be joining the Kuzate faction. I will, uh, towards the mid-game, look to create my own kingdom in this playthrough as well. Uh, I'm thinking of carving out some territory in the north of the Kuzate homelands and also take tile from Sturgia. Also, to kick off this new series, I thought, what better time to bring back the Hot Sauce Challenge? So if you've not seen this in my Sturgia campaign, we've got a set of seven hot sauces here. And in fact, we've also got three more super hot variations ranging um, from 3,000 Scovilles all the way up to 500,000 Scovilles with the super hot one. So for this first stream, this first couple of episodes, every time I die or get defeated in battle, if I get captured or if I lose a tournament, I have to have a forfeit of uh, some hot sauce on some chicken. Uh, we'll be starting with the lowest hot sauce and working our way through to the strongest. So from 3,000 Scovilles all the way up to 500,000. I've got water, I've got milk, I've got ice cream, and I've got many, many soft wipes for my bum later because it's going to be a spicy, spicy day. But uh, yeah, I'll edit up all the spicy bits. You'll just see the little clip of me eating the hot sauce, probably a, a brief reaction of me screaming my head off in pain, and then we'll continue the Battle Lord adventure. Um, so hope you enjoy this little twist. Uh, for the start of this new campaign. Without further ado, let us begin. For 500 years, the Calradian Empire dominated the continent. Its armies scattered foes before them. The strongholds of proud tribes crumbled beneath its engines of war. From the forests of the north to the wastes of the south. All was brought beneath the standard of their legions. Brutal as the conquest was, the wise agreed that it brought peace. The land, now untroubled by armies, grew rich. But empires, like men, grow old. Leaders lose a common cause. Corruption spreads. Old enemies learn the empire's tricks and devise new ones of their own. Until one day, the bonds holding the Empire snap. Then comes the Civil War, pitting all against all. A time of hatred. A time of suffering. But also, even in the worst hours, a time of courage and defiance. As new leaders arise, from new places and new peoples, to turn back the tides of destruction and bring forth a new world from the ashes of the old. Here we go. Welcome to Calradia. <laughs> Let us begin. We are going Kuzates, uh, which gives us recruiting and upgrading mouse troops are 10% cheaper. 25% production bonus to horse, mule, cow, and sheep in villages owned by Kuzate rulers. 20% less tax income from towns, though. That's fine. We'll be doing plenty of wars. 
Who's like a confederation of steppe tribes used to live a nomadic life, but have recently settled in the eastern frontier of the empire and are slowly transitioning into an agrarian society with permanent town centers. Despite this, they still retain many aspects of their nomadic life, including their affinity with horses. They are masters of mounted archery, shooting and then galloping out of reach. Let's create our character. There we go. There's our character. So there's on YouTube. We skipped ahead. He's ready to go. And our name shall be the mighty Drogo. There you go. I'm good. Four vigor, four control, four endurance, two cunning, two social, two intelligence. So yeah. Culture Kuze, family tribes people, early childhood. We had a skill with horses. Adolescence, hunted small game, youth, trained with the cavalry, young adulthood, you defeated an enemy in battle, and story background, you subdued raider. We are going to play on Bannerlord difficulty preset. Um, clan member, death possibility, battles, yep, realistic, enable birth and death, um, hero death and combat, enable battle deaths for all heroes. Yep. Lovely. Let us dig in. Brother, it's been three days now we've been tracking those bastards. I think we're getting close. We need to think about what happens when we catch them. How are we going to rescue our brother and sister? Are we up for a fight? I love that they've added in the voice lines now. <laughs> yeah, it's right for a fight. Like no training field for the legions. Perhaps we can spare some time and brush up on our skills. The practice could come in handy when we catch up with the raiders. Come in handy? Nah, we don't need that. We have no time. We can do more if we split up. Skip tutorial. Are you sure about that? Yes. Time is of the essence. All right then. Let us split up and look for the little ones separately. I'll send you a word if I find them before you do. I'm sure you will. One of a thing, brother. We want people to take us seriously. We may be leading men into battle soon. Let's give our family a name and a banner, like the nobles do. Let us rise the great deeds. Our family banner. Okay, and leave. Notification, a few hours after you leave the training ground, you come across a wounded man laying under a tree. You share your water with him and try to dress his wounds as best you can. He tells you he is a traveling doctor. Thank you for your help. He hands you a small bronze artifact, which he says was once given to him in payment by a warrior who said only that it was related to Nehreta's folly. He suspects it might be of great value. He resolved to find out more. The first piece of the dragon banner. Family name. We were going to go for Leo Khan. The Lion Clan. And our banner. There's our banner for now. Probably try and customize it a bit further later. There we go. So we start off in the south of the empire. We want to get over to the Kuzet lands. So what my plan is for this campaign will join the Kuzet faction for a while help them conquer a few lands mainly so that i can build up good relations with other nobles and lords then i'll look to likely break away and form my own kingdom what i'm thinking is centering it around if i could get my if i could claim tile for myself at some point that'd be great and then control this portion here then conquer all the kuzate homeland and maybe we make this a campaign where our goal is to unite all the tribes and so we also go after the Azare as well and kind of become like a, uh, a crescent moon of conquest. If we then conquered around to Balagard, kind of enveloped the Empire and Sturgia in a crescent moon. I think that could kind of be a cool goal for us. We will also go and follow through the main quest as well throughout this campaign. Uh, probably won't be something that we push too much to investigate today. We'll see how things go. Uh, also, yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, there'll be a link in the description to the mods that I'm using. Nothing too crazy, but highlights include the uh, Diplomacy mod, uh, uh, Dismemberment, more arenas. And I think that's basically it. The other mods are kind of supporting mods for enabling 
those three main ones. Uh, if you do have any save game compatible mod suggestions that you feel would add a nice little bit of flavor uh, that aren't too kind of overpowered or changed too much up, then feel free to suggest them uh, in YouTube comments and things like that. If you're on Twitch watching this, exclamation mark mod brings up the list. So let's do this. Off we go. Need to watch out for looters early on though, because I don't want get captured and have to do some hot sauce. Ah, uh, 18 looters. <laughs> You've also got a mission for me, but I'm not going to run around chasing after you when I don't have any troops of my own. What I've actually got is my starting equipment. A jagged spear, which can be used one-handed or two-handed, an iron saber, and a small flat heater shield. Okay. Just going to go carefully. The general rule as well when we do these hot sauce challenges is that I'm not allowed to ignore tournaments. <laughs> um, so if I see a tournament, I have to do it. I have to try it. I mean, that's not a bad thing when you're starting a new campaign either because that's going to be a good way of leveling up, gaining some gold, and improving as well. So, yeah, not terrible. Ah, uh, five looters. Okay, here we go. Don't die. Don't let this be my first fail. In we go. Thanks for this movement tutorial. Oh God, it's so slow compared to Richard of my Sturgeon campaign. Okay, got, got one thrust through. Oh, he's so slow. Okay, I've managed to cut one off away from the rest of them. Let's go for this one. <laughs> Will we make it to the Kusate lands before the first hot sauce? That is the question. I hope so. Right, split him off a little bit. Oh, I missed my thrust. Try and pull him over here. God, so, so, so slow. <laughs> uh... Ah, blocked. Got him. One down, four to go. I do find as well, some of the people will be like, well, isn't it detrimental doing this hot sauce challenge at the start of a campaign? I actually find I play my best band lord when I'm... When I have the threat of painful hot sauces looming over me. Half expecting a stray stone to one-shot me. Yeah, please, no, let's not do that. Come on. <laughs> nice, good damage. Okay, so far, I've not taken any damage myself. get a longer run up come on yeah i don't know if they've if in 1.0 they've now that it's released if they've actually toned down the uh the loot of stones or whether that's kind of almost like the meme of the game to a degree that when you start off you get absolutely wrecked by looters right that's two down imagine having to do this in like first person that's grim Yes, got another one. Beautiful. And I've gained a level. <sighs> another loot down. Drogo is cocky. Yes! Victory! All shall fear Drogo. Victory! Fear of the hot sauce makes you play well. <laughs> Kill my prisoners now. Victory for Drogo. Uh, none of that's better than what I'm currently wearing. That's fine. 
I, just, I really want there to be a culture, uh, cultural, a culture drift mod for this game. There is one. There's one built into the Warhammer mod, so I assume one exists, but I've never found it. I've not seen it on the workshop yet. Uh, can't. Oh, not not enough uh, relationship with them. But yeah, so there's two two lines of troops for the Qs8. Uh, the Noble Sons line, which gets you your best horse archers and the Khan Guard. Or there's also, um, oh no, oh there's these, oh these are different, oh the, whoa, when have these been added in? Nomads and elders? Or are these mercenaries? Conspiracy? What's that about? Oh, is that for the dragon banner? Uh, what do you want to do? Footman, here we go. So yeah, oh, and also there's the nomad line. So that gives you your infantry archers and then your heavy lancers so i'm assuming we want to go for the for the melee cab we want to go for the heavy lancer for the horse archers we want to go through the noble sons line they just got added nice and how you recruit them that's cool here we go we've got some nomads there's five looters over there that we could go after as well I do some of these quests as well. I've not done them for ages, so I'm assuming they're a bit more effective now. We should probably talk to the Lord of the Kuzates. That's just gone past us. One chug. We shall serve you well. One day, but our clan level is not high enough yet. Yours is not a face I know. What is your name, stranger? Hello. I am Drogo. What is the rest of his folly? Yeah, I'm going to skip through this for those who have not seen the main story before. Basically, there was a big old battle uh, between all the forces uh, of the land um, led by the, the Emperor against uh, led an army accompanied by Kuzait, Azrae, to fight a coalition of Sturgians, Britannians, and Valandians that had rebelled. It was a disaster for the Emperor, and he died. But also, there were so many losses on both sides that no one really came out winning. Can you tell me more about it? Uh, offer to hire our warriors mercenaries. Nothing wrong with that. Empire was an old bear, well fed and slow moving. They were young, lineage not like ours, looking to prove themselves. Clans rise, clans fall. My duty is to all Kuzay. Look at it this way. Were it not for her husband's death, Lady Mesu would never have inherited the leadership of the Kurgits. Death creates opportunity. Survivors of great battle make a great show of mourning, but inside they rejoice. So it kind of benefited them. They're okay. Um, don't need the service of strangers. I only work with lords of the realm and loyal mercenaries. Okay. I'd like to propose alliance between married. I'd like to enter your service. Yes, but I need to be clan tier one. So that's what we need to focus on doing. But I'm going to try and recruit some more, more troops. Another one here. I want to get up to 20. And then we need like 2k gold, I think, is our first mission. So we've got to establish our clan. We need 2,000 dinars. Uh, we need a party of 20. We need to reach clan tier 1. So we need to get 50 renown. And we need to hire a companion. Right, let's go to Chakand. We'll ask where tournaments are as well and seek them out first. Let's get some more troops. So I guess early on we'll go for the uh, tribal warriors. We're going to need plenty of cab for this though. Let's trade. Get rid of the hoe. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Uh, we're going to need to buy some more food. Get 10 grain for now. Tavern. Enter the arena and ask where a tournament is. At a Kalat or Mysia. Yeah, I've got the more arenas mod um, on, so there should be a bit more variety to it. So there is one over here or one over there. Let's go this way to Akalat. 
we haven't given up on the Stogia campaign. That is still running. Um, I just wanted to start a new series now that 1.0 is out. Stogia will be running parallel to this. We'll basically have two Bandlord streams each week from now on. One will be Stogia, one will be Kuze. Do I have the full XP from Tawny's mod? I don't. Do you only get a smaller amount from that? From them now? Or has that changed? Or has that always been the case, I guess? Uh, right, we're 100%. To the arena. Join the tournament. This is... I have to fight these. That's kind of stipulation of the Hot Sauce Challenge as well. Can't avoid them. I'm probably going to lose here. So prepare for some Hot Sauce. I'm not going to bet towards the, till the final round as well. Oh, he's over there. It's like, where's my opponent? Don't get knocked out. Nice. Right in his throat. Beautiful. Tornies have always been lower XP. Okay, fair, fair, fair. Okay, 4v4. Wait. Let me spear you. Come on. Die. Ah. 50 damage. That's good. He's got to be going down soon. Yep, he's down. Yeah, they get swords. I just get this. It doesn't matter if I go down in the tournament if my team still wins. Obviously, if we get all wiped out and we fail to go to the next round. And that's not good. That is spicy, spicy pain. Ah, come on. Let me let me spear you. Ah pain. I feel like I need to take one more down for my guys to really have a solid advantage of winning and progressing. Come on. Ah! Miss me thrust. Okay, blue team, don't don't lose them. Oh, they took one out. Nice, come on. 3v2, 3v2. I don't want the spicy pain of the hot sauce. Although the first one's probably tasty. the advantage come on you guys are terrible swingers okay no it's 2v1 2v1 come on come on i want to advance to the next round and not face spicy pain yes he's on the ground he's on the ground come on take him out yes come on yes pain avoided oh, it's javelin time again 
And the Twitch chat goes wild in disappointment. Nice. We're up against that really good warrior eight now, though. Which could be curtains for me. I'm going to place a bet, though. Oh, oh, no, it's a glaive. Oh, God, here we go. It's going to be a one-hit wonder. No! Yes! Victory! Oh, the glaive! <laughs> I might just have a bit of chicken without any hot sauce on to celebrate. Oh. Victory! We have victory! <clears throat> Now, I don't want that myself, so I'm going to sell it. Oh, yeah, there are new horses. Cool. Current Charger, a Glintor Pony. Yeah, these are all new. Nice. I've gotten better. Let's go recruit some more. We'll hunt down some looters as well, start leveling up our boys. There we go, 20. Um, let's go down here and ask if there's another tournament nearby. Oh yeah, the, there's a blue image. You see, it's like a texture bug. It's meant to be the shadow of our party moving. There's another tournament here. Oh boy, riding. Full speed, increase your charge speed by 20%. Mount troops in your formation, gain plus 10% charge damage. Or nimble steed, increase your maneuvering by 10%. Charge damage or nimble steed. Full speed. Um, let's increase that bow. We will want to do smithing sooner rather than later. So I'm going to throw some points into that. Trade. Yeah, let's actually boost that up because that's quite good for us as well. One hand is stuff will increase just because we constantly be fighting. Tournament round two. Uh, I don't know if they have couch lance cav actually. Would have thought maybe they do their lances. Britannian thoroughbred. It's a group round. 4v4. Oh, I'm a horse archer now. It's going to take some practice and getting used to. Ah, oh no, I hit my own guy. Get me sword out. I have screwed the arrows, just swing at them. Nice, just one left. Come yeah, on. Oh, got him. Nice. Beautiful. Yeah, Bandle's had a, 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 always had a arrow drop. 
Uh, you said to get rid of the shadow bug, just lower the settings, then lower it back and increase them back up again. Okay. Oh, are we all on glaives? Great. Don't want to die. Oh, didn't kill him. Got the horse, though. Oh, no. Didn't get the horse. Oh! I'm not down, though. I'm through to the next round. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's javelin time again. One javelin, two javelin, three javelin. Nice. Loving that ragdoll crumble. Right, come on. Can we win our second tournament in a row? Oh, God, it's all down to one glaive swing and that's it. <laughs> Be gentle. <laughs> the stress. No. It was just my horse. 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 Come on. Oh, God. No! Hot sauce! Why? <gasps> Bloody Malbert! The jalapeno and date. Which is a very, it's a very weak one. Thanks, everyone. And thank you, Malbert the Loud. That one is honestly delightful. Absolutely ruddy delightful. Tournament over, first source consumed. Where to now? Um, we've got our max number of troops. We need to defeat some looters, basically, to get our renown up a bit more and also to get some money. Our clan temperature around, we've got 24 renown. So, yeah, we just need to fight around a bit. Bloody heck. Fash the Stampede. Thanks for gifting 10 tier 1 subs. Bloody heck. <laughs> Draw off your face. Thank you. Thank you. Also, thank you to Wapox. Growing with tier one sub for 29 months. <laughs> Show off your face. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Vash. Wow, wow, wow. I was going to ask where there were other tournaments. It's fine. Uh, let's go up here. Oh, 14 looters. Let's go kill them. Die, looters, die. I need to get a bow soon as well. Oh, yeah, I was going to transport up my. Um, Shadows. There we go. All fixed. Oh, no, they're still coming through the map a bit. Maybe it's another setting I need to change. Come on. They're faster than I am, though. I'm never going to catch them if they mess up. I can trap them in terrain somewhere. Can't stop, won't stop. They brought me all the way down here again. Need more horses. I wonder if I can get them stuck down here. Hmm. No, they're just going to keep on running, aren't they? Your curs. 
There's too many bridges they'll make it through. Must have my troops leveled up. Oh, the looters want to be recruited. They can become Imperial troops. I'll just ransom you guys off. Okay, back over here. So we can ask if there's other tournaments around. we go yeah we need more money to get more horses i mean maybe i should do it now rather than saving up for the actually yeah there's no point holding on to the money just yet actually because um we need to be clan tier one and have hired a companion so yeah we can send it we can spend it on some some horses actually i'm gonna buy some over here thank you know yeah had a great birthday lovely birthday uh, don't want to recruit anyone. I just want to buy products and I want to buy some uh, step horse. They're the cheapest ones that go faster. These ones are pack animals. Yeah, get get four of them for now. Is that better than my current horse? Yeah, stump horse. Yeah, so switch one of you out there. Lovely. Let's see what the price of them is over here. It's not costing us much with these guys. Uh, I'm going to need food in three days. Ooh, looters. Hello. That more expensive here. Um, I can buy some grain, though. And I am going to buy... I'm going to buy... I'm going to risk it. I'm going to buy that in the hope that I'm now fast enough to catch these 16. I've got a speed of 5.0. They are 4.8. Yeah, we'll catch them. Beautiful. Yeah. What do you Surrender or die, brigand. Surrender or die. Alright, what have we got? We've got... Infantry! Infantry. Right and then me as the... Move. Have. This is fine. You ready for battle, men? I hope so. I'm going to try and distract them a bit for you. It's got a pitchfork though. So that's dangerous for me to go near. Game decided we didn't need music either. Could we, could we have some atmospheric noises please? No? Okay. Yeah, rocks of death. Rocks of death. Here we go. Ah! Oh, a very good thruster. He said. No! No! Ride! Got him. Infantry, charge. Get him, lads. Bye bye. Oh, his arm came off. Nice. Beautiful. Glory for Drogo. His legend begins. Ah! Oh, look at all them ready to upgrade. Yep. Um, they all require a mount, though. That's what's going to make it expensive. 
Get tribal warriors. I guess I'm going to have to have some of them as infantry then. I mean, it's not, not a bad idea to have these guys. What, are they spearmen? So yeah, I'm going to have I could go for more art ground based archers, but I think most of my missile troops will be the horse archers. I want to go full cav because I don't have enough horses for them all to upgrade with cav. Um, it's going to be expensive. I mean, I probably, I don't know if I'll go, ever go full cav. It's good. You'll probably want a holding infantry line to draw the enemy in and then have the cavalry envelop from behind. You need something for the, you need an anvil for the hammer to strike. Okay, that'll do. Take all the swag. I don't have anything on my arms. We've got some arm wraps. Yeah, they'll do. Oh, there we go. That's better than what I currently got. Which is a shame because that looks infinitely cooler and more Cal Drogi. Cold Cal Drogi? Cal Drogo. But we want we want armor. Yeah, we'll head we'll make our way slowly north. For more uh for cheaper horses. I think you guys are right, it's cheaper in the north. Uh what do we want to put this point into? Uh stewardship at ten, increased party size by yeah, I tend to have someone else act as quartermaster, but that's never terrible. Have another companion do it. Um Yeah, where's the where's the gold pouring skill? You can dismount cav units, yeah. You can tell them to, to get off as well. Uh pole arm cavalry, increase your damage to two percent on or mounted or pikemen, no, definitely cavalry. Let's increase that rate as well. Yeah, let's pop a point into intelligence for now. I will definitely check out the Game of Thrones mod um, at some point in the not too distant future once it's kind of finished. Or what, what I say, once it's finished. Once it's uh, updated for 1.0. Because I don't think it's been updated yet for 1.0. Yeah, we'll definitely try running that as well. Or sure, and obviously the Lord of the Rings mod when that's done. All the mods, all the time. I hope this tournament's still going when I fully healed. Oh, the mod I had enabled for wait until healed isn't showing up. Unless this just stops. No. There's meant to be another option which says instead of wait for some time, it's wait until healed. Maybe I haven't got them in the right load order. Join the tournament. What, uh, heavy Warlord Pauldrons. That would be great if we could get this. Otherwise, here's Hot Sauce number two incoming. Oh, what a shot! Bloody heck. Drogo, you machine. No! Uh oh. Please. Don't fail me. Don't fail me. Don't fail me, teammate. Come on. Come on. Oh, don't miss with your thrusts. Not good, not good, not good. Spin on the ground against a mounted opponent actually isn't terrible. Oh, you got back up on another horse. That's fine. Go kill him, go kill him. Don't just stand there. You're going to get shot in the face. What are you doing? Why are you walking so slow? 
Charge! Oh no! Yes! Oh, I love you! Kuze Heavy Horse Archer number 75. Shield. I'm going to let them all charge in and hang back a bit. Because if we're the two top teams, then two top teams make it through to the next round. Oh, nice. Thanks. Thanks, random rider. Uh... Oh, no. I just took out my teammate. Rogue Javelin, Rogue ja Javelin. Oh, wait, no, I'm through. I'm through him anyway. Oh, oh, I'm dead. But it's fine. I made it through to the next round. <sighs> that went from, it's good, it's bad, it's okay again. It's not good. <laughs> oh, no, it's not good. It's not good. I'm two on one now. Take out Spear Boy first. Pick up Spear. Come on. Ah. Come here. Let me spear you. No, no, what I need to do, what I need to do is, against a heavy horse archer. I don't see this going. Oh god, it's going to be... Why is it always glaives on the final round? Oh no. Oh no. I knew that would be bad when they're dismounted. <laughs> there it is. What's number two? A Calradia. That's definitely warm up. Mm -hmm. It's still not unpleasant. It's just quite the heat to that. Hot sauce two down. Many more to go. Yeah, we need to get, We need to find some looters to kill. Bow skill. Bow control decrease your bow accuracy loss due to movement by 30% or dead aim. Uh, no, go for the decrease your bow accuracy movement uh, loss. Oh, yeah, we should sell. Go to Tavern District. Ransom prisoners. Not that's going to do much. 
hunt down these five if we can. 5.5 speed. Attack. Horses! Soldiers! Hear me! Oh, we lost someone. I was like, why didn't we get the tactical overview menu? Yeah. You only get that when Warriors. there's... Um... Every horse bowman! Stick to me! Warriors! Um... What do I want you guys to do? I want you guys to... Sergeants, take them up! Skirmish for me. I'm going to keep trying to use my pole arm as much as possible so that I level it up for better handling. Especially when we've got glaives and tournaments. Nice one, infantry. Drogo continues to gain many victories. Looters, uh, you can become, yeah, we're going to go for Spearman. And uh, I want, I need to get more horses. I'm going to save you guys. No, I can't make, I can't afford to make all of them, but. Should we get a few more? Let's see what the price of horses is here. Although, we, yeah, we don't have enough money for them. We need to get a good haul. Oh, it's a noble son, so that's a proper. Proper elite horse archers. Call that to Khan Guard. You're 180 though. I know I shouldn't, but I'm going to take him anyway. Oh, well, your horse here. You're still fairly expensive. Although, um... But they take stumper horses. They're cheaper. We could have them for upgrades, couldn't we? Ask if there's a tournament nearby here. A tile. Oh, we could do a Sturgeon tournament. Head over there then. See if there's any um any looters along the way. Or sea raiders as well, actually. They they get us a nice bit of cash. I don't trust the order as not to kill off my guys. Hear me! Soldier war warrior! Warrior hear every mountain archers! Sergeant, you're on command! Footmen! Engage! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, war horses. Yeah, that's a separate one, but mounts should be fine, right? I think. Yeah. Nice. Anyone know what is the um? What's the clan weapon you get when you join the Kuze? Is it a bow or is it a lance or a sword? With Sturgear, it's a two-handed axe. Anyone know what it is for the Kuze? There we go. Let's, uh, we'll settle this at tile. Skill. I feel like I'm gaining experience quite quickly. Halves the chance become, uh, halves the chance of your mount becoming lame or dead after it falls in battle or well wrapped. Increase your mount's hit points by 20%. Um, mounts command troops with more hit points overall. Yeah, we go for wells. Yeah, well strapped. Let's go well strapped. Right, tavern, ransom, uh, trade. Keep all the butter, keep the grapes. I don't know if that's any better than what I currently have, is it? 
Just double checking. Yeah, no, bye bye. That'll get us a nice bit. Sell the pitchfork. Um, we are right now. We need a bit more food. Get five fish. Five butter. And up to five grain. Just for a bit of variety. Then we need to wait until morning to do the tournament. Oh, black heart. That's a mighty two-handed axe. Oh, we're in a different tournament now. It's built into the rock. Love it. Three. That doesn't bode well. Got to trump all these guys away from the stone. If you want. Yeah, yeah. Got him. Beautiful. Oh. TV1, TV1, not good. Mamma mia, it's the spicy Sturgeons. Okay, it is the Chipotle and pineapple. Okay, so much sauce came out. I've got to have two bits of chicken to cover it dripping everywhere. Okay, here we go. Number three. It's weird, it immediately kicks. And then it's like, oh no, I'm smoky and sexy. I'm very tasty. But it just holds a heat for quite a while. Okay, that sauce is quite tasty. Another one bites the dust. As does my character's chances of winning that tournament. I've not actually tried out the Bandlord Twitch integration mod, but I, I have heard of it. Um, I keep meaning to check it out, though, and actually use it. We don't want any Sturgeons. No, no, no. Nasty, nasty, smelly Sturgeons. Okay, we've got a bit of money. We still need to find some looters about, though. Basher or Deflect. One-handed weapons have their hand increased by twenty percent. Yeah, we're not we're not bashing so much in this one, so we'll go for deflect. Uh, yeah, you guys. I need more horses, don't I? We'll go get some. Mm, we should be careful though. Really need some more cash. What are we clan level wise? Renown twenty-seven. Need to get some more.
Oh, another tournament. Great. I love my life. <laughs> Here we go. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. One hit. Oh. No. Oh, yeah. Right, I'm through to the next round now. Oh, yeah. I'm a horse archer. Support my teammate. Support my teammate. Oh, hi. Very nice. Oh god, they're all coming for me. Okay, yellow's down to one. Red's down to one. Okay, no, it's one of each now. him down oh, on the hall on the ground come on down. Okay, I just need one more to go down. Come on. Oh. I'm an idiot. Why did I go in? Why didn't I hang back? <laughs> Habanero and Dumbledillo. There it is. Number four. That's 25,000 Scovilles. Sold it. That's a spicy chicken. Oh. Oh God. Ah, that, that, that's a warm one. Oh. That's the first proper. Oh. 